Creating an account in EBSCOhost databases can save you a lot of time and help you get organized. Having a My EBSCOhost account allows you to save articles, searches, journal and article alerts, create folders and store articles within them, and more. You can even share folders with colleagues and make notes about your saved searches and articles. Keeping track of your searches can be especially useful so that you know the terms you used and can share this information with others. Click on Sign In to create a new account. Select Create a new account. Fill in the form. You may use any username and email address you like. They do not have to be associated with any existing accounts or with your institution's email address. Click Submit at the bottom of the screen when you have finished. Now that you have created an account, every time you go into the EBSCO databases, make a habit of signing into your account. Click on Sign In at the top of the page. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will log in to my account. Notice that the EBSCOhost logo now has a yellow ribbon that says My EBSCOhost, indicating that I am logged in. Click on Folder at the top of the screen to see the contents of your account, to create new folders, and more. On this page, you will see all the contents of your folders. Note all of the options you have. You can save images, videos, pages, notes, other sources, links to searches, as well as searches themselves, search alerts, journal alerts, and web pages. Note that you can also create new folders and that you can share folders. When you're searching in the database and you find an article that you would like to save to your folder, click on Add to Folder. You will see a pop-up window asking you which folder you would like to save it to. This is why it's a good idea to create folders for all of your assignments. Select Folder View on the right-hand side of the screen to see all of the items in your folder. To create a new folder within your account, click New on the left-hand side of the screen. To move existing items in your folder to another folder, click the box next to each article you would like to move. Then select Move To and pick the destination folder from the drop-down menu. That's it! Those are the basics of creating an account. We covered saving articles to your folder, making new folders, and moving items. If you have any questions, ask a librarian.